What's interesting is when people are singing together in a choir, the heart rate variability of the various members can synchronise. So they all kind of go up and down together. Studies have shown that there are some health benefits to singing in a group. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it, let it shine. It increases lung capacity and builds diaphragm muscles, helping posture and core strength. It takes concentration, which makes your brain more agile. And there's a real sense of joy. But what feels most profound is the connectedness I'm starting to feel. After only a couple of runs, I'm already part of the team. That's really good. <laughs> How was that? Oh, that was amazing. Um, I really... I really felt like we were all in it together and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It got me going. What is it about singing that makes you feel so joyful? When you sing, the stress hormones come right down and the endorphins are up and we get the same activation in the brain as like when you're getting a reward. A big part of it is in a choir, you're breathing together. You're often usually breathing deeply and when we breathe together, our heart, our brain, our lungs, everything's working together. What's interesting is when people are singing together in a choir, the heart rate variability of the various members can synchronise. So they all kind of go up and down together? That's right. So it's not the heartbeat that synchronises, but in between each heartbeat, there's always little fluctuations. And this is called the heart rate variability. Those variations between the beats accelerate together, come down together when everyone's connected. It's remarkable. It's a curious property of our nervous system. Heart rate variability, or HRV, constantly changes in response to stress or relaxation. HRV synchronisation can reduce stress for the individual. And for the group as a whole, it boosts empathy, trust and cooperation. In fact, it hacks the very social dynamics that make the group a success without anyone knowing. Uh, good. So, we're going to try to show the honeybees doing it. Electrical engineer Graham Mitchell has built us a kit that might just do the job. Hi, Graham. Hey, Lily. So, how is this experiment going to work? We're going to use this device, which is a pulse oximeter. OK, so what do I do with this? Place that on your ear. On the earlobe? Yep. I mean, you could have added a little bit of bling to it, Graham. <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> and that's a good connection. And what's that going to do? So that's going to measure your heartbeats and we'll display it here on a wearable device while the LED flashes. This is my heartbeat? That's right. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so where will this go then? So it'll go down a lead to a microcontroller where we are measuring everyone's heartbeat and everyone's heart rate variability. OK, and what will you do with that information? So when people reach synchronisation, the LED will change from flashing to a steady glow. Ah, oh, so we'll visually be able to see if we are in synchrony. Yeah, all going well. I hope it works. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Pressure's on. Graham's experimental wearables will attempt to identify tiny HRV data for the whole choir and analyse it all at once in real time. But also, not to alarm you, but all your hearts are off. <laughs> is that powered on? It sure is. The lights flash when the singer's HRV are out of sync. But if HRV synchronises within a handful of milliseconds, they will glow. Everyone's being hooked into the experiment and we're almost ready to go. It almost is too crazy to be true, so I'm really excited to see if it's going to work. This is something that we've always suspected. We feel that we have a synchronisation when we sing. It's something that draws us to singing, but we don't really know for sure, so I'm hoping that there's going to be some hard data to actually back it up and prove it. HRV synchronisation is more likely in an established group. 
So our experiment may have a stronger chance if I sit it out. Right, shall we see? Let's go. individual heartbeats until first two of the bases synchronize and the singer next to them then more so many steady shining lights Did, did you guys notice that you were all in sync? Yeah. Yeah, well, almost everyone was on solid lines. It was spooky. I just, uh, like, I don't know why I didn't expect it to work. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that was remarkable. I got goosebumps, both from the singing and, and from the fact that you were all uh, connected. And it only just hit me that I was singing, let it shine. Oh. And if this light just shone. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> that little light of yours. Congratulations, Graham, as well. <laughs> Overall, I'd say there's definitely a correlation between singing and heart rate variability. It was really good. Wow. Well done. <laughs> You're all back to flashing now. <laughs> I was quite surprised that it worked the first time, but then when they all got into the groove, I suppose it totally made sense. They were in the right place. They were breathing together, so that's amazing. When they started glowing, it distracted me so much because I thought, how can this be working already? I nearly forgot what I was supposed to be doing and I had to remember, that's right, I was supposed to be directing this choir and not just watching their lights. Mm -hmm. By enhancing the social dynamics of the group, HRV synchronisation can make us more than the sum of our parts. And not just in choirs. This synchronisation has been measured amongst families, teams of athletes and medical workers. Even between people and their pets. That's a hell of a hack.